Hello, Crystal. I see you've got a nice tree all decorated mostly in flowers. So what is this for and uh, why you're doing it? Well, I decorate it with the flowers because I figured it looks springy, but it also just brings a good joy and it's really colorful. And the lights, they kind of look like angel lights to me. And this kind of shows like, these lights show like the auras and stuff. And this here, I use the clear garland because it looks like the angel orbs that I kind of see. And I just love Christmas so much. It's like one of the most fun times of year for me. So I had to share this with all you guys. Well, it looks very nice. It, it's going to be a display somewhere, I take it. So I'm sure that there's going to be people that's going to see this. And uh, what do you want to say to them? Well, the best way to make art on a tree is just kind of just do your own thing when you create your Christmas tree. You can use anything. You can use fake flowers. You can use lights. You can use the beads like garland, like regular pearl beads, whatever you call them. And just use bright little Christmas lights. I just used things like this. And, and this is the lights I used. Mm -hmm. And you kind of want them to match the, you want them to match the tree. Like you don't want them to be white. It looks kind of corny. Like this tree over here. This one looks like, this one's a work in progress. I'm going to make this better. I can see all kinds of wrongs. It's asymmetrical. Let's see all the lights are kind of just white compared to everything. And the ornaments are out of place and the tree's out of place. It's not in balance. So I'm going to make that tree look really good. This one is well balanced, kind of. This is the angle to look at it. So this is it. So you can come take a closer look with us. This is what the tree looks like up close. So, Merry Christmas, everyone! Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below.